welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm gonna be taking the Starbucks acrylic tumbler, turning it into a snow globe using the Halloween collection from my vault line. Stick with me and I will show you how I get it done. If you're like me, we like to collect lots of glitter shapes here in this house. I had lots of bats and lots of pumpkins and lots of witches and black cats and spiders. Never had a good use for them other than putting them in shakers and coasters. So I was excited to put them in this tumbler right here. I'm gonna show you how I made this tumbler. Let's do this. So here are the materials you're gonna need. Let's start off with our Starbucks Clear Venti Acrylic Tumbler. This is the 24 ounce tumbler. Gonna need a drill. Don't forget to drill bits to drill your pilot hole. Grab yourself some UV resin. This is the clear. And along with your UV resin, you're gonna need a UV nail dryer. Don't forget your NMO Halloween Collection glitter. This was a huge favorite. We have our orange, our black, our green, our purple. This was a limited seasonal release. And we have our shapes. We have our jack-o'-lanterns and our bats. These shapes right here I got while I was in New Orleans visiting Mr. Knowles Glitter down in the Big Easy. I am obsessed with collecting shapes. So if you're like me and you have a lot of shapes and you don't really know kind of what to do with them, this is a perfect project for you to bust those out and put them to good use. And a very important piece to this puzzle, you're gonna need some tape. You're also gonna need a measuring cup so that you can measure your glycerin and water. So I have these clear cups right here with my stirring stick. We have vegetable glycerin, a funnel, and you're gonna need water as well to mix with your glycerin. You're also gonna need a squeeze bottle. This is very important when adding your mixture to your cup and make sure you have some 92% or higher isopropyl alcohol. Let's get started. All right, so take your funnel and you're gonna want your Dremel tool to match the size of your funnel. You don't wanna go too big, you don't wanna go too small, you kinda want it to fit a little snug. I don't want to start off with such a big Dremel tool. Um, I'm kind of worried that with this being a acrylic tumbler, you know, this is not like wood or anything like that. We're gonna wanna drill a pilot hole. So let's go ahead and start small. I'm looking at where I want to drill my hole. I know I have very little clearance between the wall and the outer protective shell of my cup. So I wanna make sure that where I drill, I'm gonna have enough space for my glycerin and my glitter to fit through. So I'm just kinda of looking at this. I'm gonna to have to kinda of drill at an angle. And this is where you see me change my mind um, on using the biggest drill bit. So let's change this out. I'm gonna to have to start with a much smaller drill bit get that going and then gradually work up to the one size that I need. I think if you were to just stab it with the biggest Dremel size that you need, you're gonna risk shattering your cup or cracking your cup. We are drilling at an angle, nice and slow. You don't wanna be too aggressive with it because you don't wanna risk cracking your cup. Right now what I'm doing is I'm making sure all the shavings from the acrylic are not caught in my cavity of my tumbler. I'm going to shake those all out, clear my space. I think that's good. I got a nice hole started and got to make it a little bit wider. So let's change out our part. And this is where you see me jump the gun a little too early. I should have had one more in between there, but hey, I did end up taking kind of a bigger chunk out than what I needed to take out but that's okay because our tape is going to take care of that. So here I am putting my funnel in and now I'm gonna put my bats. So I wanna put the bats in there. I wanna get them all nice and shook down inside the cavity of my tumbler. Try not to lose any bats. This is a, this is a project that takes a lot of patience. <laughs> so make sure you take your time and give yourself enough patience to get all the glitter knocked down in between the two walls. Now for my pumpkins. 
I knew my pumpkins were not going to fit down that little funnel, so my hole's big enough. I will just go ahead and just kind of shove those pumpkins down in there. Now we have our glitter. Let's grab our trick or treat. It's the orange. I love this one so much. This is probably one of my most favorite collections of all that I put out so far. It was so much fun to make. Um, I really enjoyed it. Can't wait for next Halloween to come back around so I can make more. Grimace, our purple. And it's starting to come alive. Some black magic. And more trick or treat because we can't have enough trick or treat, right? That looks about right. It's starting to look very Halloween y. Our pumpkins are holographic, so they are standing out. And I'm already starting to see this baby come to life. Okay, I think now is the time we put the glycerin. Okay, so my ratio of glycerin to regular tap water is 75 25. So one part water, three parts glycerin. It's gonna look a little cloudy when you put it in there and you're mixing it up, but don't worry, it will clear up. Just keep mixing, keep mixing, keep mixing, and um, you should have a perfectly clear mixture by the time you are done. Let's put our glycerin mixture into my squirt bottle. And let's fill her up. Make sure you take your time. You don't wanna get a lot of air bubbles. This is a tight space, so if you do get some air bubbles in there, you're gonna to wanna to knock them out before you keep adding. As you can see, um, I have to stop and wipe and knock it and stop and wipe and knock it because the glitter is taking up some room and causing some, some air bubbles to pop up here and there, but we are taking our time. We are not in a hurry. We are just going to keep tap, tap, tapping and get all the air to come to the surface so that way we can have a nice, full, cup if you've noticed sometimes you've seen those tumblers they have a huge air bubble in there make sure you tap your cup to make sure that that air comes to the surface and you can keep adding your mixture you want to get all the air out you will see it fill up very quickly and then once you tap it it settles you're going to want to add some more okay you see me covering it up and kind of shaking it because I want that glitter that settled down at the bottom to start moving around and letting that air that's trapped come to the surface. If you're wondering how much mixture I had to add to this tumbler, this squeeze bottle held about eight ounces. So I would say I put, probably put about seven ounces in here. Now comes time for the sticker. This is a very important part. To make sure that your sticker sticks very well, you're gonna wanna make sure you clean the bottom of your cup with your alcohol. After you've cleaned all the residue from the outside of your cup to make sure it's not greasy or slippery, go ahead and put your sticker right over the top of that or put your tape right over the top of your hole to close it. I want to make sure it is 100% sealed and closed, so I'm going to triple, double, quadruple seal my hole opening with these stickers. They're very glossy and very clear, so you can barely see them. And then we're going to actually seal it with UV resin here at the end, so it's going to disappear. You're not even going to notice it, okay? Now I think we're ready for our UV resin. I'm being very generous with my resin. I want to make sure that I have no space for escape. I don't want any of my mixture coming out because that would be disastrous. I'm spreading my UV resin to make sure I have a nice clean surface, a lot of even edges, push it up into those corners. And I'm going to hold my UV lamp for a total of four minutes. This particular UV resin requires four minutes of cure time. You'll see me rotating my cup, you know, in between timings. I wanna make sure that I get all angles of my UV resin cured. So try not to leave your cup in one position. Try to turn it, rotate it to make sure you're getting the most cure time, the best cure time exposure possible. All right, I think that's gonna do it. Let me give it a nice little touch, make sure everything is nice and cured. Everything seems great. We have a 
Snow globe. Halloween inspired snow globe tumbler. Shake it, shake it, shake. Because I know that's what you want to do. You want to shake it. Give it a nice shake. I'm really excited. And we do have an air bubble. I'm okay with that right there. Um, I think that allows my glitter to be pushed around. I think it's gorgeous. I'm obsessed with it. I, I think it's perfect. I'm so excited. Gonna make myself a straw topper, put this baby on, and I am ready for some trick or treat. And there you have it. Our little uh, snow globe Halloween inspired Starbucks tumbler. I'm gonna put our little cult straw topper right on top of that and um, head out to trick or treating. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and I'll catch you later. Bye.